So just to recap, the CryEngine has been announced to be free and to be pay-as-you-want as of today. They just announced that today and it's great. And they're teaming up with Humble Bundle to release this set of assets for you guys to use when creating your games. So let's start with the $1 tier. The first set of assets in the $1 tier is the mocap animation pack and mocap pretty much stands for motion capture and this is the basic military rifle. You get about 110 rifle animations with this item alone which goes from jumping to crouching to turning around aiming down sight so you can get started with your shooting game or FPS that you choose to go with. So next up you have plants and shrubs and there's no video here but you can see the models they look pretty decent. It's nice to not have to animate every single different shrub that you might want in your game so this really cuts down the time. So next up we have trees and there's a great variety of trees for you to use. I'm sure it's not just the one you see in the picture they have a whole vast amount of assets for you to use again to go along with the plants and shrubs. So with the vast amount of survival games out there like H1Z1, The Culling, and Ark, there's environment props that they use similar to that so you can have inventory for crafting systems and a bunch of materials that you can lay around your environment. So moving on to the prototyping kit, this way you don't have to do just plants, shrubs, and trees in a random forested environment. Now you can make different types of commercial areas or downtown metropolitan areas with these assets here for like a subway, highways, offices, and buildings. Who can forget textures, decals, and other video effects that you might need in your game? Obviously, if you take those straight up prototyping kit buildings, then you look very bare and it's not very immersive and doesn't set a good setting for your game. So obviously you use these textures and decals that they include to give another level of depth to your surroundings. So if I were to make games, I would love a template for me to put my work against or to see exactly how a first person shooter might be made. So they've included the mocap paintball FPS, it's a bit of a starter project, but it gives you an idea of how to implement the animation such as a rifle starter into an actual project and working game. So it's not actually an asset, but I think it's an asset to have something like this when trying to make a first person shooter. It's a great template to start from and to just play a little bit with the engine. So let's move on to the beat the average tier for all of these assets. So what's a game without sound? This audio kit is pretty much vital for the creation of a game, at least to get started. You get things like NPC sounds, player sounds, voiceovers, menu effects which to be honest are pretty important when you're navigating menus and you get no feedback, it's kind of weird. So definitely something that you should look into. Now not every game needs a vehicle, but at least you can have a few vehicles to put around your game even if it's a survival game you just put them all burnt out or destroyed. You have the vehicles pack standard edition which comes with three sedans, uh, normal crashed and burnt, three trucks, three vans and a hatchback. So obviously you can't just have a bunch of buildings with textures, you do need some environments such as fences, different articles around the city. Sure you can use crates somewhere but that's probably just in the junkyard but you need garbage bins obviously because what city doesn't have a place to put the garbage. I'm seeing a trend towards survival games but obviously these assets could be used elsewhere. You get things like a bolt action rifle, standard auto rifles, bows, melee weapons and explosives. Definitely a great addition to any game. So what's not to like about assets from an existing game that was fairly successful, the Rise Son of Rome Nature and Animal Pack gives you obviously animals and different environments from the game that you can use within your own. I'm sure they're better rendered than the $1 tier but hey, I haven't opened up CryEngine and tried it myself so definitely look at it, it's definitely a great addition. So this is a nice little thing as part of this bundle, Crytek has included their own formula racing starter pack to help get you going if you want to try doing like a racing game of some sort. This way you don't have to create the assets and try to work the engine to be a driving game. You can start from this, take a look at how they've created this and interpret it into your own vision. Galactic war left entire planets in ruins. 
So I was shocked to find out that there's an actual game in here that you can play called Nexus. I've never heard about it before, but it is an arena-based first-person shooter similar to Unreal Tournament. If you take a look at some gameplay, it looks kind of nice and what happens is as you dominate people, the game changes and alters based on how well you're doing. And I'm sure a game is a great break from all the hard working you're doing on that indie game. So let's move on to the $13 tier that includes quite a bit of packs that are worthwhile. So to help you with a possible survival game in the future, the makers of Nexus use the CryEngine 3 to make this starter project. It helps you build the basis for a potential survival game that you want to build and join along the likes of Ark, H1Z1, and Culling. So maybe you don't want to build a modern day environment or maybe you don't want a metropolitan looking scene. Using the Rise World Building Pack, you can add a little bit of variance to your world and to your game in order to make a little bit more of an old, rustic, aged look. If you look at just the picture, it looks pretty nice if you played Rise Son of Rome. The environments are nice and just imagine having that in your own game. So say the World Building Pack is not enough for you, you want some Roman assets in there. Here you go, the Rise Son of Rome Roman Pack gives you the ability to use stuff from the actual game to make a Roman style city and even have ships and even the legionnaire that's from the game itself. Maybe you have a little bit more ambition, maybe you have some better ideas than just a car, a truck, a van and a hatchback. With the vehicle pack HQ you get things like motorcycles, airplanes, broken down buses, in order to give your environment a better feel and give some variety there. So just to add a little more immersion to your already amazing game I'm sure, the City High Quality Pack adds even more environments for you to use to make sure that your environment is as immersive and enjoyable as possible. Sure they're little things, sure it doesn't make a difference if there's a sign here, but to be honest I think it adds a great level of depth to your game. And last but not least you get some characters and animals to include in your games so you don't have to render them or create their styles themselves. It looks like they have someone that looks like Uncharted, someone that looks like Tomb Raider, you have someone from some sort of badass game that's going to beat you up, and you even get an elk, so sure, why not use it. So this is a weird question, is the bundle worth it? The thing is, is that it's only worth it for people who, one, are interested in CryEngine, two, are using it to actually develop a game or looking to develop a game in the future, and don't want to create their own assets. A lot of people do like to create their own assets, so for those people, this bundle may not be worth it, but it's great to have a head start when creating your game. So having a game concept is hard in itself, and then having to animate for it afterwards just makes it that much harder. You can use assets that are already available to you, just makes your creation process that much easier. You can start with a pre-build and then work towards it and create your assets later when you have either more funding or more manpower available to you. So should you pick up this bundle? Maybe not everyone should, I probably won't be because I don't develop games, but if you develop games and you're looking to an alternative to the Unreal Engine, take a look at these assets and the CryEngine as a whole. So if you like what you saw in today's video, definitely like and don't forget to subscribe because you'll get updates as soon as a video comes out, for instance like this, where there's two bundles released on the same day and I didn't even know. Take care guys.